Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. How cute. She probably hasn't had a bath in forever. My dear, are you sure her parents weren't on that island? Well, it's a good thing she can't understand English because there's something sad I have to tell you. What? On our way off the island, we found a ship that was completely shipwrecked and the remains of what appeared to be her parents. Oh, how awful. How could she have survived on that island all by herself? I don't know, but maybe once she learns more words, she can tell us. She's all done, your majesty. Do you like her makeover? She looks wonderful. I'm going to call her Maria. Uh, don't eat that, please. She's going to have a lot to learn, your majesty. She needs to learn manners uh... and... Oh, the poor thing must be hungry again. Come with me. We shall feed you. Your Majesty, she's eating like an animal. She was raised on an island. Don't worry. In time, she will learn better. In time, she will learn better. Look, a bear. Bear like this in jungle with me, but he brown and he bring me food. Really, Maria? Why, that's incredible. You've learned lots of new words. Maybe now you can tell us what happened on that island. Oh, it's all right. You don't have to. You know you're safe here with me, Maria. I promise. May I see other princesses today? Why, yes, there's a ball today. Socialization is very important for your speech development. Hello, my name is Princess Maria. Oh, you're that adopted princess from, like, the jungle, right? Oh, I cannot understand a lot of words at once. Can you speak slower? Can you understand me now? <laughs> <laughs> Jungle freak. What is wrong what with her? Weirdo. Okay, Maria, let's try this word. It means appealing or pretty in an endearing way. Cute. Well done, Maria. You have learned another new word. You'll be able to speak so much more to your princess friends. Mom, Dad, I do not want to see the princesses anymore. They were mean. What? what? So me only want... No, no, say I... I only want to see a prince. Oh my. I don't want to meet a dead prince like Romeo. I want a live one. <laughs> what? Like in the book you read me, Romeo and Juliet. They dead. Oh, darling. Don't worry, you can see a prince. And he will be alive, Maria. As long as he's not rude to you, of course. <laughs> Dad, was that a joke? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maria, your father was just kidding. But I know just the prince you can meet. Good evening. You must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect that. Good evening, you must be Princess Maria. Are you a real prince? Uh, yes, to my knowledge. <laughs> do you like bears? Bears? Uh, sure, yeah. I do too. That's nice, yeah, I respect that. I heard you survived on an island all by yourself. I gotta say, I think that's pretty amazing. And look at you, you've learned so many words. You are very nice, and your face is cute. Oh, thanks. I think yours is pretty cute, too. I must go now, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I couldn't help but notice you're talking to Prince Ken. Come here, girly. Let me see your hand. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I want to be your friend. Friend? Yes, friend. So come with me, because I have something I want to show you. See how Prince Ken is holding my hand in this picture? He doesn't look very happy. Um, of course he was happy. He loves holding my hand. Just give me that. Let me teach you some words. Not interested. I saw the way that you look at him, but he doesn't like you. He would never date a jungle freak. Maria? Shh. She just fell asleep. Did she tell you why she came home so sad? No, she wouldn't say. But dear, your god went back to the island and we found out some awful news. What? Well, Frederick went back and did some investigating and he believes her family was trying to start a circus. A circus on an island? Shh, yes. And Frederick believes that they had a bear with them on the boat, and her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Her and the bear were the only ones that survived the shipwreck. That explains why she's so obsessed with bears. Yes, we think the bear was trained and maybe it helped her survive. Princess, you have a visitor. Prince Ken. Whoops, no, it's me. Where is Prince Ken? Oh, I don't know. I told him you didn't want to be around him, you little jungle freak. Stay away from my man. Mm. Ow, ow! Maria, what are you doing? It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. 
Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her, I just know it. Love Meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I... Stop calling her, she's not gonna answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I- Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away for some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay, and I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Your crush is gonna appear? Oh no, my life is over. Come on, sissy, it's not gonna be- Mr. Smith. You have a crush on your math teacher? No. <laughs> no one can know this. No one can see your crush unless they make eye contact with you. Oh yeah, that'll be great because nobody looks me in the eyes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Giving myself a fake fever so mom won't make me go to school. Nice try, honey. I heard that. <sighs> Bria? Hey. How y'all doing? I think the better question is, how are you doing? Why do you have sunglasses on? Um, no reason. Girl, be for real with us. What happened? All right, fine. Just look above my head. Well, <gasps> what? Having a crush on Mr. Smith is crazy. I did not expect that. Look, it's not my fault that I find older men attractive, all right? What am I going to do? Um, I would suggest maybe go see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Courtney, stop. Gee, thanks for the help. <laughs> Rhea, please remove the sunglasses. Rhea, please remove the sunglasses. Um, I just had laser eye surgery, so I can't- Stop lying, Bria. You know sunglasses aren't allowed in the classroom. <laughs> We're not allowed to wear hats in the classroom either, Bria. <gasps> Come on. Mr. Smith wants to see your eyes. <laughs> hey, did you need any help with your homework? No, nope, didn't need any help at all. <laughs> okay, okay, well that's good. Bria, it's a little disrespectful to not look at me when I'm speaking to you. What's going on with you today? You're usually so... friendly. Pet sit a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are going to pay more. We will pay you 500 Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour. Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> Is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> I'm back. Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I'll take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you- Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna- You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. <sighs> but I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. 
Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're gonna have to join them. Ugh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're gonna scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great, you know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy! Ronald, there you Don't are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish. Girl, we tried. Oh my gosh. He left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. <sighs> no, 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 girls, trust me. This is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of... Freeze, kid. What the... Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be a boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you? Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? <gasps> Please. That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper. And you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. 
How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help! Oh, princess, hey! I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. Hurry up, open the door. You have to go, climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... Who gave you words? My queen, we caught a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it because I'm going to expose you to... What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at 18. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor helpless princess should have just eaten the food. After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove you that You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. <sighs> you may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate, because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the... 
Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey! Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, Have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he gonna do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? Alright. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh. Jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. Alright, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. 
What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe? You're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but, you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But, Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm hmm Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for-sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news! Someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right, it's canceled. We have 100%? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script! Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. Alright, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not gonna see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're gonna get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble! Oh! Yes, Todd, get them! <coughs> Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. 
I'd like to see him tr- oh! Yes, Todd, get them! <coughs> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Hey, guys. Hey, girl. Wait, are you crying? What? No, I'm not. Come on, Brianna. We're your best friend. You can tell us anything. Can you guys just come over to my house? So what's wrong? It's Derek. He, he broke up with me over text today. Wait, Derek? As in the school player, Derek? School player? What do you mean? He plays every girl in school. He'll act like he likes you, he'll use you, and then he'll break your heart. Seriously? Why would he do that? No one knows, but what I know is that it's time someone taught him a lesson. We could do it. No, I don't know about that. Yeah, Nicole, I don't know. It might not work. Trust me, ladies. It will work. And I have the perfect plan. Step one is to give you a makeover so that you look absolutely irresistible. Step two, get his attention. Step three, get him to go out with you. Bree? You, uh, <clears throat> you look different. Do you like my new look? You know, Bri I've been thinking. I made a huge mistake breaking up with you. Um, how about how about I take you on a date or, or something so that we can talk? Uh, I don't know. Come on, have you ever made a mistake? Okay, fine, but you are paying for the date. Okay, girls, take these so you can listen to our conversation. Okay. It's time to get revenge on the school player. Thanks again for giving me a second chance. Of course, but, um, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. When you and I were dating, you know, before you broke up with me, did you ever, did you ever cheat? Um. Hey, I promise I won't be mad, okay? I cheated more. I wouldn't even consider it cheating, to be honest. It was nothing. <sighs> Are you serious? Girls come up to me all the time, asking, do you want to hang out? Like, what am I supposed to say? Like... So have you, like, cheated on other girls, too? Cheating... Cheating's a strong word. Derek, it's a yes or no answer. Come on. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being interrogated right now? Okay, yeah, that was in the past. I want to focus on us. I want to focus on you. <sighs> Oh gosh, would you look at that. My mom needs me to come home, oh, and we were having so much fun. Don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow at school, okay? It's time to get revenge on the school player. Marie, come here. Why is everyone staring at us? Mm, no one's staring at me, Derek. They're staring at you. What are you talking about? Oh, how cute. He still doesn't know. Don't know what? Exactly. Got your little confession on the video. Derek, remember how you used to tease me for being a klutz? Well, clumsy old me. I was recording you. I didn't realize. And then I accidentally leaked the video to the entire school. You what? Yeah. Maybe next time you'll think twice before playing every girl in school. I'm a go-getter. If I see what I like, I'm going to go after it. <laughs> Sorry, Derek, but I had to. I don't want any girl to go through what I went through. Because no one deserves to get their emotions played with. Have a nice day. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some celebrating to do. <laughs> okay, pick a babysitter. A Navy SEAL or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since Dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the seal. You do realize it's not the animal seal? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up! She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that. And you kid need to learn some manners. 
Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh, they don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, speaking of duty, <laughs> I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait! Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. Shh, it's gonna be okay. Sarah! Are you okay? No, there was a scary guy outside my window. What? Your security has been compromised. What is going on? <sighs> Listen, there's a reason your mother hired me to watch over you guys. I'll explain. So let me get this straight. Our dad was a spy, and now the bad guys that were after him are after us? Yes. They're after a stolen laptop your dad had retrieved before he died. Somebody tried to break in today, but I'm gonna protect you guys, I promise. You guys need to wear these. What does this do? It's a tracking bracelet. Will this help keep us safe? Yes, it's so I can keep track of you. Is this yours? I found it in Dad's office. Sadie, you know you're not supposed to be down there, and this isn't mine. Wait a minute, didn't Neff the babysitter say that the bad guys were after a stolen laptop? Do you hear that sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Do you hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Mm -hmm. Susie! You let her go! <laughs> let go of her! Sadie! Come here! <laughs> Give me the laptop now! Okay, okay, just take it! Finally! You have what you want, now let them go! I don't think so. Take them to the other room! No! Sadie, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry, the babysitter, he's gonna save us. Do you mean this babysitter? Neff! Ugh. No one can save you now. Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you! Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my eye! I'm scared. It's gonna be alright, let's get you free. <laughs> Neff, come on, wake up! <gasps> what, what happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and- What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight? You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go Neff, go Neff! Kick his ass! Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for protecting my girls. Of course, Miss Lane. Those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls... Please... As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. Alright, it's fine with me. Yay! Wanna play Mother May I for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But- Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you are a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. 
But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No. You may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna... Save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait. I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't. Because I know you care about me. If you were going to kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you your real mother. You can? Yes, she's closer than you think. Your real mother is- Shut her off! Mother powering you down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real Mother. No. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real Mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry, because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking, instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light, Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm going to go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. <laughs> Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs>
You know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool, just be careful. Thanks, I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature, open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. Please, don't be my bank account. I really don't need him to see how broke I am. My hand? Wait, which one? Oh, okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be weird. I don't know what to wear. Okay, very funny genius, but I have class today, so no. Oh, actually, this could work. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was pretty cute, so I guess I won't be mad at him, but he owes me a new lipstick. Does anyone know the answer to letter A? No, I don't. Yes? Um, 22? Correct. Good job. Hey, beautiful. What do you say you come with me? Don't be scared. Come on. <gasps> I just knocked somebody out. Or, I guess you did. Okay, yeah, I should probably go. Morning. I just want to say thank you for protecting me like that yesterday. So, I guess you can hear and see everything that I do? Well, guess I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> hey, would you stop that? Hey, Mia. Hi. I, uh, I like your dress. Oh, thanks. Can I have your snap? Yeah, sure, it's... Are you... are you good? Yeah, sorry about that. Why don't I just add you? Okay, my username is... what the... actually, never mind. That was so embarrassing. Moo! Ow! Oh, I barely even pushed... <gasps> I am so sorry. Do you know how much this outfit was? No. Of course you don't, you idiot. Did you just... No, I... Zip it! You are gonna pay for my dry cleaning! Why are you so aggressive? I'm just trying to look out for you. Well, please tone it down, because you're going to get me in trouble. On my way, we're going to party hard tonight. I am so excited. Okay, I'll be waiting. Come on, girl, let's go. Um, <laughs> let go of the door. I can't. Oh, I see what you're doing. No, I'm being serious. My soulmate, he's... Save it. You should have told me you didn't want to come. No, Sarah, wait. Thanks for wasting my gas. <laughs> You know, I thought I asked you to tone it down. I don't need you to be acting like a, a parent to me. This is getting really annoying. When do I get to control him? Want to switch and control your soulmate? Yes. You will control your soulmate's hand with your mind. You will now be able to see and hear everything your soulmate does. Some things will be censored for privacy reasons. Oh, that's a relief. Are you ready to switch now? Yes. 
She's in control of me now? Great! Just don't do anything dirty. <gasps> Ow! Jeez, I was just kidding! Oh, this is so fun. Ready for the concert? I sure am. Who is she? Oh, no, he doesn't. Whoa! You good? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Chill, this is my sister. Whoops. Damn, and I thought I was overprotective. Sorry, I guess we both kind of are. <laughs> Why do we have to switch back? Oh, please, just be anything but my hand. Seriously? Listen, I just got a new job, and I cannot have you messing it up for me, okay? Hi, welcome to Happy Burger. How may I take your order? Get me a cheeseburger. Okay, and would you like a side of fries with that? No, no thank you. Hey, I said no fries. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Let me fix that for you right now. Jerk. Excuse me, are you talking to me? No, ma'am, not you. Here is your food, ma'am, and I am very sorry for the misunderstanding. You should be fired. <gasps> How dare you! No, ma'am, I am so sorry. That was not me. I am going to go speak to the manager, you weirdo. No, ma'am, please wait. Hand over your equipment. Please, don't fire me. Okay, maybe I won't if you, uh, do me a little favor. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. I'm just going to let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove you that gotta be fit. kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. <sighs> you may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You gotta help me find my soulmate, because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl, I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him, eventually. <sighs> what the... Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey. What? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh. There's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. 
Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey, don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey! Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday, he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he going to do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's going to regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's going to meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh. Jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. Alright, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me, so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. Oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Guess I deserve it. Wanna play mother, may I, for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, 
You may not. But... Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you are a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I am telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget Mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down Mother. I have to shut down Mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No. You may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna... Save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course. But wait. I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't. Because I know you care about me. If you were going to kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. You can? Yes. She's closer than you think. Your real mother is- Shut her off! Mother powering me down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real mother. No. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so... Familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also... Your real mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry, because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking, instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light, Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. Oh my gosh, the reception here is literal trash. We're in the mountains, what do you expect? Besides, I want us to enjoy nature. Your Instagram and TikTok can wait. Well, now you sound like mom. <laughs> Shut up and help me come on back.
That's not funny, Nikki. What are you talking about? Would you stop playing dumb? This isn't funny. You put fake blood all over the bathroom. I... I didn't do that. Stop it. You're creeping me out. I'm being serious. I am being serious. I didn't do it. So that was real blood? What the hell was that? I don't know, okay, but I think that we need to... Shit. I thought I heard somebody. Who are you? How did you even... Shh. Keep your voices down. There's a bunch of them out there right now. A bunch of what? There are creatures that come out at night here. Creatures? What do you mean by creatures? It's hard to describe them. They're like nothing you've ever seen before. No, this is insanity. Nikki, come on, we're leaving. No, no. Nobody's going anywhere. It's not safe out there. Let us see for ourselves. Shh. I'm telling you. They're out there. If you tell us to shush one more time, I swear I'm gonna... <laughs> Found us. What do we do? They're attracted to darkness. We can make this place bright enough. Maybe they'll stay away. How do you know that? <laughs> Nessa, come on. Let's just do what he says. Okay. Okay, I think that's all the lights in the house. Where did the guy go? I don't know. He was right there. Well, wait. What is this? Who's that a picture of? Some girl. Look. Nessa, there's some more pictures on the floor. Oh my gosh, there is. And they're all of girls. Oh my god, is this a picture of us? <gasps> Nikki? Nikki? Where are you? Nikki, please tell me that's you. There you are. Hey, it's okay. I took care of the creatures. You're safe now. Where's your sister? I don't know. She was right next to me. And then the lights turned off and she... What? I never told you she was my sister. I want to know what's going on right now. I'm just trying to protect you guys. Where's my sister? I have no idea, but I'll help you find her. All right. Now, I thought I heard her down this way. Hey, wait! <sighs> Nikki? Nikki, wake up. I see you found your sister. You did this to her, didn't you? Don't worry, Nessa. She's fine. Why is there a bunch of pictures of girls upstairs? Oh, you saw those. I guess you could call them my exes. There aren't any creatures, are there? <laughs> well, look who's catching on. And the blood that was in the bathroom? That was from the last girl that stayed here. Let's just say, things didn't work out. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie, did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove that. You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this gonna go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. <sighs> You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right. Well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You've got to help me find my soulmate, because I'm not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. 
Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey. What? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh. There's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he gonna do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at our school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh. Jeez, do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. All right, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. 
Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you gotta try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but, you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Guess I deserve it. Excuse me? I saw this flower, and I thought of your face. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Cuz, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be which? Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay? Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> and you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. I'm telling you I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? What's up with your crushes? I don't know. It just... Hey. What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girls' dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's going to make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad. It's just... You tell me what you posted, right? Oh my gosh. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You need to see this. Don't get mad. Just a play date you recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's going to happen when my parents see this video? Are they going to get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're going to be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kind of got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow. That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know. They were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya. <laughs> How much money you got now? Two thousand. Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home. I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine. You're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry. Casey! Bye. You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be $122. Where are you going? To the bus. And I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home, and this creepy guy was following me, so I couldn't get the bus home, and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. What's happening? Uh, your friend Casey just posted something. This rich girl literally gets mad at me for not buying her a dress. Just buy me this dress. I don't have enough money. Casey! She edited this. I just can't believe that she would do this to me. She definitely got jealous of you getting all these crushes. But you know what? Come on. I'll go with you to go confront her. Look, it's the whiny rich girl. Boo! Get out of here. Hey! The video was faked, and we're gonna prove it. Come on. Casey. What is wrong with you? I thought that we were friends. Oh, the video? I was just showing people the real you, that's all. It's not real if you edited it. Yeah! Did you not ask me to buy your dress? You offered to pay for me for that dress. That was before you had $2,000, and then you still asked me to buy it. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't thinking clearly, because I was in the middle of having a panic attack. Well, boo-hoo for you. Just admit you edited the video. Okay, I edited the video. Does that make you feel happy? No one's gonna find out anyways. We wouldn't be so sure about that. Say hello to my live stream with over a million viewers. You've been streaming this? 
Yep, and you heard the truth here, guys, so pass it on. Whoa. My crushes are disappearing. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people on the live stream were shipping us together. <laughs> well, you kind of stuck up for me when my best friend didn't, so... Are you giving me a chance? If you promise no more stalking. Deal! Oh my gosh, I've been dreaming of this my whole life. I mean, uh, I'm cool. I'm cool. Please wish for me to pass my test! What? No, leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids! Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to- Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm! I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes, get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited- Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh, yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay. Come here. No way. I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice. Now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Ooh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Darling, please let us see your mark. Oh. She has a diamond. Honey, we're billionaires. If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad. It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart, and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is red gem. You could talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just gonna grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get his food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I could sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze! Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the... You're a diamond mark? I want to help you. You... you do? Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray painted black. Ugh, dang it. 
Wait, how did you know that? It says nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm gonna take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but your mark... Huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're gonna use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh-huh. Just stay still for me. Why? Why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green marks. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm going to give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not going to use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Oh, shoot. Darling! Honey, where are you? Go hide in my closet right now. Go on, get in my closet. Wait, how long am I going to have to be in here? I don't know, but they can't see you with a green mark. But- I'm sorry, just- Shh. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the marks, okay? Oh, no, guys. I really don't need to- Ah! Take the chart, and remember what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No. That's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food, or maybe even some shelter? Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not gonna waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Hey, after that, I think it's probably best I go. No, wait. I want to help you guys still. My parents will never know. Thanks again for letting my mom and I stay here. We really appreciate it. You're such a beautiful, kind young girl. I wish my mom was like you. I'm sure she loves you very- Well, well, what do we have here? Mom, Dad, you guys weren't supposed to be back until- Tomorrow. Yeah, we got back early. I want these green marks out of my house right now. No, if they leave, then I leave too, because they're good people and they have nowhere else to go. Them being poor is not our problem, and you're not going to leave. I will. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave. Huh. What's yours? You own nothing. If you leave, your mark will turn green and you'll become poor. Then so be it. You know, there's more to life than just being rich or poor. At the end of the day, it's what makes you happy, and it's about helping others. And you guys were hardly ever here for me anyways. And when you were, I wish that you weren't. Oh, honey. Just stop. Because these people have been nicer to me in the one month that they've been here than you guys have ever been. And I realize it's better to be poor and happy than to be rich and miserable. Come on, guys. Let's go. We didn't mean to make you give up your mark. You don't deserve to be out here in the rain. We're sorry. Don't be. I've been wanting to tell them that for a while anyways. It's not even that bad out here. It's just a little rain. <gasps> and a lot of thunder. Darling, are you out here? Mom? Dad? Oh, honey, there you are. Come on, all of you, come in the car. Please hurry. I think we're good. Darling, please, what you said about the money, you're right. We should help others, and we're going to be different from now on. Do you promise? We promise, and we have more than enough room for your friends in our mansion. Are you guys okay with going back to live with me and my parents? If you're okay with it, then we're okay with it. Exactly. We did enjoy living there after all. If they make any weird moves, we can get out of there. Yeah, gotcha. But right now, what I think we all should do is get out of this rain. Agreed. This letter or a mystery gift from my soulmate? I mean, I gotta go with mystery gift. Package is ready. That was fast. Whoa, the gift is in the shape of a question mark. And it says it's from Maniso. I think it's time to see what's inside. The gift turned into a heart after I opened it. Cool, look at all these mysterious compartments. I'm so excited to see what's in them. Let's open this one first. It's from Toy Story. It's Lotso. Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, it's Cinnamon Roll. Looks like each of these packages will contain different figurines. I got so many blind boxes. Let's unbox some and see what's inside. Oh, this Sanrio one is so cute. This Stitch one is super adorable. I got the Stitch that came with the car. Look, it's Little Cinnamon Roll. I wonder which one I got. 
Oh my goodness, how charming. All the little characters you sent me are so adorable. And it's so fun unboxing the blind boxes because you never know what characters you're going to get until you unbox them. This makes such a great holiday gift. My soulmate must really love me to send me this. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No, no men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's going to adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're going to come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're going to have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- <gasps> Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh! How did she do she that? She has powers? Oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. Oh, honey, we're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa, oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, all right, she wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow! I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because you didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, honey. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart. Sorry, Laura. She's... Oh, 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 you broke my hand, you little... Oh, oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, 
Someone please answer me. Mom, come find. What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out, her laser- <laughs> Hit the glasses, quickly! Bad kid. Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good, please. No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now, and you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop! Mother's is going- You. Dead. Oh my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy. You find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey. Hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my. I don't know. It kind of looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Menere. Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana. No. Bien dare. Q. Ma. Sa. Family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See? They nice. Fine. We shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <sighs> he just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Whatever cookie you choose to eat will give you a special power. It's a tough choice, but I think I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. Your magic bunny will now appear. <laughs> It's a cute little bunny, and it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna find out. And what better place to discover this thing's power than at this Easter party that my mom is forcing me to go to? Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks, I, um, I got it as a gift. Oh, okay, cool. He's in love with you. So, there's this concert coming up, and I was wondering- Will you just excuse me for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I didn't expect this thing to talk to me. Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So, did you find out what the bunny's power does? No, no, I didn't. I need to go now. Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. My mom is in love with the gardener, and my best friend is in love with me. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love with your teacher. I found your first grade teacher here. Summer, is that you? Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you. It's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but we don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo. <laughs> How are you doing that? Powers detected. Sissy, stop. 
FBI, open up. Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No use in powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. <laughs> you let her go. You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us, too. No. Hey, you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh, really? Well, I wasn't talking to Super face. Hey yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? Alright, bet bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but- I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I- You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I get shouldn't- Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked- Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. 
maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not going to happen. Let go! Get in my car. I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not going to happen. Let go! Get in my car. No! Hey, Ricky. Let her go. Jake. Get out of here, Jake. I'm not going anywhere, Ricky. Get away from me. I said let her go. <sighs> Alright, that's it. Come here. Ricky, I don't want to oh, Stop it! Leave him alone! Ricky, come on, let's go- oh, Shut up. Hey, Ricky! Oh, stay down. Oh. Oh. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, but you're bleeding. Yeah, he got me pretty good. Hang on, oh. I'm gonna call the police, okay? Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, you know, I've been better, but the doctor said I'm clear to go home, so that's good. Thank you so much for saving me. You kind of saved me with that kick. <laughs> Layla, you need to know that bet was stupid. You were already beautiful. Thanks, Jake. I kind of already found that out for myself. Because you're smart. Well, lucky for us, there's one hour of prom left. I'll let you go hang out with the girl you said you were going to ask. Layla, wait. I don't want to go to prom with anyone but you. I thought you just wanted to be friends. No, Layla, I don't. I mean, if it's okay with you, I'd like to be more than that. I would like that. So should we head to prom? <laughs> Pick a babysitter, a navy seal, or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the seal. You do realize it's not the animal seal? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up. She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that. And you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh. They don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> Well, speaking of duty, <laughs> I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait! Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this. Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. He's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. <laughs> Shh, it's gonna be okay. Sarah! Are you okay? No, there was a scary guy outside my window. What? Your security has been compromised. What is going on? <sighs> Listen, there's a reason your mother hired me to watch over you guys. I'll explain. So let me get this straight. Our dad was a spy, and now the bad guys that were after him are after us? Yes. They're after a stolen laptop your dad had retrieved before he died. Somebody tried to break in today, but I'm gonna protect you guys, I promise. <laughs> You guys need to wear these. What does this do? It's a tracking bracelet. Will this help keep us safe? Yes, it's so I can keep track of you. Is this yours? I found it in Dad's office. Sadie, you know you're not supposed to be down there, and this isn't mine. Wait a minute, didn't Neff the babysitter say that the bad guys were after a stolen laptop? Do you hear that sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. You hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Mm -hmm. Susie. You let her go. <laughs> let go of her. Sadie. Come here. Mm -hmm. Give me the laptop now. Okay, okay, just take it. Finally. You have what you want, now let them go. I don't think so. Take them to the other room. No. Sadie, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry. The babysitter, he's gonna save us. Do you mean this babysitter? Neff! Ugh. No one can save you now. Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you! 
Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my eye! I'm scared. It's gonna be alright, let's get you free. Neff, come on, wake up! <sighs> what, what happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and- What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight- <laughs> You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go Neff, go Neff, kick his ass! Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for protecting my girls. Of course, Miss Lane. Those those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls. Please. As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. All right, it's fine with me. Yay! Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah, how cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my big- <clears throat> Agent 22, Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir, you wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that, and you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Babe? Hey. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll, I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. <clears throat> this has, uh, kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. Alright. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby. But that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them. Isn't it? What? I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them. Isn't it? What? How did you switch the drinks? Well, that was easy. You looked down for a few seconds to check your phone. I'm guessing it was your boss texting you. I got closer to you, which naturally made you more defensive. And while I was busy trying to hide my phone screen, you switched the drinks. Look who's finally catching on. You sick son of a... Oh, easy now. Let go of me, you deceitful little... Shh. Just relax. It's over, Maya. I have her, sir. Bring her to me. Yes, sir. Hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I accidentally hit her head taking her out of the car. You know you're not actually her boyfriend. Yes, sir. I was just... She was an assignment. I understand. Good. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. Wow, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen, I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Say it! <laughs> John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. Alright, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick, 
Rick Lawson. You see, John? Her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He, he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. Now, before I kill her, my... You're not gonna touch her ever again. You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here. This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. <gasps> yes, sweet. I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flameproof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. Can I get a cape? No, no, no case. case. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh, ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill! I've got a plan. And you're gonna want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. See that bank? Yeah. Well, you and I are gonna rob it. Oh, alright. Sounds good to me. And look what I got. Our suits, but Mom and Dad said we're not Wear them to... until our birthdays. I know, but we gotta prove to them that we can be real villains. You know what? You're right. Wait, Max, what should our villain names be? Huh, how about I'm Frost and you're Blaze? Okay, not bad, Max. Let's do this. Everybody freaks. Do what he says, or else you're gonna get barbecued. <laughs> Fry the safe. On it. Money, here we come. Whoa, look at all that cash. Not so fast. Careful, he's a super. What's your name? I'm Witherstorm. <laughs> nice. Why do they call you that? Allow me to demonstrate. Looks like Weatherboy can control Mother Nature. Blaze, get him. With pleasure. I don't think so. <gasps> Ugh, crap, my powers don't work in this rain. He's all yours, Frost. Don't worry, Blaze. I got him. I suggest you both surrender now before the cops show up. Giving up's not our style. Ugh. I can't believe we escaped with so much cash. I know, right? Max, how did your scale move? I did something. <laughs> what did you do? I'll show you. Follow me to the lair. Ta-da! You brought the superhero to our house? Yeah, I had my buddies bring him over, and when he wakes up, I'm gonna find out his secret identity. I'm gonna use Dad's gadgets to interrogate him. Max, Dad's gadgets are really dangerous. I don't know if you should use them on him. What? Of course they're dangerous. That's the whole point. Hey! Your scale moved towards Hero. Oh, don't tell me you like him. You like him? I do not. Uh-uh. You think he's cute, don't you? No. As your twin, I can tell you're lying. Are you guys gonna argue this whole time? What the hell is this place? Your worst nightmare. Max. So, your real name's Max, huh? <clears throat> what? That must be my new gadget. Be right back. Why can't I use my powers? Sorry, but that bracelet on your wrist, it's a power dampener. I need you to set me free. And why is that? There's a tornado headed towards my family's house, and I'm the only one with the powers to stop it. Yeah, right. You really think I'm that stupid? I'm serious. Come on. I can see good in you. Please, you have to release me. Where is he? He, he escaped. Your scale. You let him free. I'm telling Mom and Dad. No, Max, wait. Stay there. Wait. Mom, Dad. Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy? I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're gonna get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home. I saw you from down the street. 
You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk. Ugh. You brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Okay, Max, that's enough. Why aren't you fighting back? Because I... I don't want to hurt you. Huh, how pathetic. Finish him. No, I won't. You were right, Max. I... I do care about him. What? Ugh, I knew it. You've gone soft. You're almost a superhero. And you're in love with one. Well, who says heroes and villains can't like each other? No, you have to make a choice. Our family or him. Max. I'm serious, Mindy. Pick one. Fine. Then I... Darling, please let us see your mark. Oh, she has a diamond. Honey, we're billionaires. If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad. It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is a red gem. You could talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just going to grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get us food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I can sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze! Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the? You're a diamond mark? I wanna help you. You... you do? Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray-painted black. Ugh, dang it. Wait, how did you know that? It says Nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm going to take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but your mark... Huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're gonna use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh-huh. Just stay still for me. Why- why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green marks. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm going to give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not going to use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Oh, shoot. Darling. Honey, where are you? Quiet in my closet right now. Go on, get in my closet. Wait, how long am I going to have to be in here? I don't know, but they can't see you with a green mark. But- I'm sorry, just- Shh. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the marks, okay? Oh, no, guys, I really don't need to- Ah! Take the chart, and remember what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No. That's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food, or maybe even some shelter? Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not gonna waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Hey, after that, I think it's probably best I go. No, wait. I want to help you guys still. My parents will never know. Thanks again for letting my mom and I stay here. We really appreciate it. You're such a beautiful, kind young girl. I wish my mom was like you. I'm sure she loves you very- Well, well, what do we have mom, here? Mom, Dad, you guys weren't supposed to be back until- Tomorrow, yeah. We got back early. I want these green marks out of my house right now. No, if they leave, then I leave too, because they're good people and they have nowhere else to go. Them being poor is not our problem, and you're not going to leave. I will. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave. Huh. What's yours? You own nothing. If you leave, your mark will turn green and you'll become poor. Then so be it. 
You know, there's more to life than just being rich or poor. At the end of the day, it's what makes you happy, and it's about helping others. And you guys were hardly ever here for me anyways. And when you were, I wish that you weren't. Oh, honey. Just stop, because these people have been nicer to me in the one month that they've been here than you guys have ever been. And I realize it's better to be poor and happy than to be rich and miserable. Come on, guys. Let's go. We didn't mean to make you give up your mark. You don't deserve to be out here in the rain. We're sorry. Don't be. I've been wanting to tell them that for a while anyways. It's not even that bad out here. It's just a little rain. <gasps> and a lot of thunder. Darling, are you out here? Mom? Dad? Oh, honey, there you are. Come on, all of you. Come in the car. Please hurry. I think we're good. Darling, please, what you said about the money. You're right. We should help others, and we're going to be different from now on. Do you promise? We promise. And we have more than enough room for your friends in our mansion. Are you guys okay with going back to live with me and my parents? If you're okay with it, then we're okay with it. Exactly. We did enjoy living there after all. If they make any weird moves, we can get out of there. Yeah, gotcha. But right now, what I think we all should do is get out of this rain. Agreed. This letter or a mystery gift from my soulmate? I mean, I gotta go with mystery gift. Package is ready. That was fast. Whoa, the gift is in the shape of a question mark. And it says it's from Maniso. I think it's time to see what's inside. The gift turned into a heart after I opened it. Cool, look at all these mysterious compartments. I'm so excited to see what's in them. Let's open this one first. It's from Toy Story. It's Lotso. Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, it's Cinnamon Roll. Looks like each of these packages will contain different figurines. I got so many blind boxes. Let's unbox some and see what's inside. Oh, this Sanrio one is so cute. This Stitch one is super adorable. I got the Stitch that came with the car. Look, it's Little Cinnamon Roll. I wonder which one I got. Oh my goodness, how charming. All the little characters you sent me are so adorable. And it's so fun unboxing the blind boxes because you never know what characters you're going to get until you unbox them. This makes such a great holiday gift. My soulmate must really love me to send me this. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No, no men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's going to adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're going to come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're going to have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi. I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room and then we can... Oh, yeah, I'm real. <laughs> so, this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that... Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about? No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she? <gasps> oh my what gosh, oh my gosh. How did she do she that? She has powers. Oh my god. <sighs> mad? No, no, honey. Oh, honey, we're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa, oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible! Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright, she wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow! I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? 
Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. You want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop! You can't do that! I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because you didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. Uh, no. Ugh, I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm. honey. Sweetheart. Sorry, Laura. She's- Oh! Oh! Oh, you broke my hand, you little- uh, uh. I escape again. Oh. Honey, someone please answer me. Mom, come find- What? What's happening? Mom, Dan Crowley kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey? Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out, her laser. <laughs> Get the glasses, quickly. Bad kid. <sighs> Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good. Please. No. You are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey! Get uh, away from her! Uh, Dan, stop it! You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom! Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now, and you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him! No, stop! What is going- You. Dead. Oh my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy. You find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey. Hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my. I don't know. It kind of looks like he's still- <gasps> He's alive. Menere. Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana. No. Bien dare. Kill. Ma. Sa. Family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt. Sissy, it's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See, si, they nice. Fine, we shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <sighs> he just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way?
I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Whatever cookie you choose to eat will give you a special power. It's a tough choice, but I think I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. Your magic bunny will now appear. It's a cute little bunny, and it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna find out. And what better place to discover this thing's power than at this Easter party that my mom is forcing me to go to? Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks, I, um, I got it as a gift. Oh, okay, cool. He's in love with you. So, there's this concert coming up, and I was wondering- Will you just excuse me for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I didn't expect this thing to talk to me. Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So, did you find out what the bunny's power does? No, no, I didn't. I need to go now. Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. My mom is in love with the gardener, and my best friend is in love with me. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love with your teacher. I found your first grade teacher here. Summer, is that you? Mommy, remind me again why we have to wear these bracelets. Sweetheart, I told you. It's so the government can make sure that we don't use our superpowers. So I can't even use my superpowers just for a few minutes? No, superpowers have been banned. If you use them, they will take you away. Do you want that? No. Then you must never use your powers. Watch your sister, please. Okay, Mommy. They even gave her a bracelet, but we don't get our powers until we turn five. Peekaboo. <laughs> How are you doing that? Powers detected. Sissy, stop. FBI, open up. Please, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you know the rules. No using powers. She's gonna have to come with us. No, not my baby. <laughs> you let her go. You better stand down, kid, or you'll be coming with us, too. No. Hey, you, freeze. Give me your purse. You don't scare us. My dad here has super strength and is bulletproof. Oh, really? Well, I wasn't talking to Super face. Hey yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? Alright, bet bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean, you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head, so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill. Chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm going to buy you contacts, but first we got to fix that unibrow. I'm going to pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm going to make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand, and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit.
She looks uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we got to get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so... Uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? Alright, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. Eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now. Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not going to happen. Let go! Get in my car. I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not going to happen. Let go! Get in my car. No! Hey, Ricky. Let her go. Jake. Get out of here, Jake. I'm not going anywhere, Ricky. Get away from me. I said let her go. <sighs> Alright, that's it. Come here. Ricky, I don't want to f- Ugh. Stop it! Leave him alone! Ricky, come on, let's- uh, oh. Shut up. Hey, Ricky! Oh. Stay down. Oh. Oh. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, but you're bleeding. Yeah, he got me pretty good. Hang on, oh. I'm gonna call the police, okay? Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, you know, I've been better, but the doctor said I'm clear to go home, so that's good. Thank you so much for saving me. You kind of saved me with that kick. <laughs> Layla, you need to know that bet was stupid. You were already beautiful. Thanks, Jake. I kind of already found that out for myself. Because you're smart. Well, lucky for us, there's one hour of prom left. I'll let you go hang out with the girl you said you were going to ask. Layla, wait. I don't want to go to prom with anyone but you. I thought you just wanted to be friends. No, Layla, I don't. I mean, if it's okay with you, I'd like to be more than that. I would like that. So should we head to prom? <laughs> Pick a babysitter, a navy seal, or a ninja? What kind of options are those? I need someone who can protect you while I'm away. From what? An army? You know, ever since dad died, you've been acting really weird. Sissy, pick the seal. You do realize it's not the animal seal? You know what? Never mind. Thanks for coming. These are my kids Sarah, Sadie, and the baby Susie. Nice to meet you. Miss Lane, I can assure you, your kids are in great hands. I want dinner. Shut up! She's asleep. I don't care. I'm hungry. Don't make me push you into the wall. Hey, don't talk to your sister like that. And you kid need to learn some manners. Her learn manners, please. You also do realize you're not the first babysitter we had. Is that so? Yeah, you're like the fifth one. All the other ones quit. Uh-huh. They don't like us. Said we're not disciplined enough. Well, I can assure you I'm not going to quit. It's my duty to protect you. <laughs> well, speaking of duty, I'll let you handle that. Uh, wait! Just, um, FYI, you're putting on her diaper backwards. It's supposed to go this... Somebody's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. 
Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. He's in the house. Take the baby and stay here. Sadie! Shh, stay very quiet. Shh, it's gonna be okay. Sarah! Are you okay? No, there was a scary guy outside my window. What? Your security has been compromised. What is going on? <sighs> Listen, there's a reason your mother hired me to watch over you guys. I'll explain. So let me get this straight. Our dad was a spy, and now the bad guys that were after him are after us? Yes. They're after a stolen laptop your dad had retrieved before he died. Somebody tried to break in today, but I'm gonna protect you guys, I promise. You guys need to wear these. What does this do? It's a tracking bracelet. Will this help keep us safe? Yes, it's so I can keep track of you. Is this yours? I found it in Dad's office. Sadie, you know you're not supposed to be down there, and this isn't mine. Wait a minute, didn't Neff the babysitter say that the bad guys were after a stolen laptop? Do you hear that sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Hear that beeping sound? Yeah, I hear it. Hello, girls. Don't be scared. Just give me the laptop. No. Maybe this will change your mind. Mm -hmm. Susie! You let her go! <laughs> let go of her! Sadie! Come here! <laughs> Give me the laptop now! Okay, okay, just take it! Finally! You have what you want, now let them go! I don't think so. Take them to the other room! No! Sadie, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, the babysitter, he's gonna save us. Do you mean this babysitter? Neff! <sighs> no one can save you now. Sadie, I think I can get free, but I need you to make the baby cry. Okay. <laughs> Why is she crying? She hates that sound. Hey, you! Is that a charger? <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, huh? Well, let's try this. Oh, my eye! I'm scared. It's gonna be alright, let's get you free. <laughs> Neff, come on, wake up! <sighs> what, what happened? The bad guys, they got the laptop and- What is going on? Girls, stay back. You think you can fight? You're not gonna bother them ever again. Go Neff, go Neff! Kick his ass! Where did you learn how to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for protecting my girls. Of course, Miss Lane. Those, those men shouldn't be bothering them anymore. Wait, Neff, you're not leaving us now, are you? Can you please just stay a little bit longer? Girls... Please... As long as it's okay with your mother. I guess it would be nice to have a man around the house. Alright, it's fine with me. Yay! Great work on your mission today. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Nice. Text message from John. He says, I miss you. Would you like to respond? Tell him I miss you too. Sent. Thinking about your boyfriend, huh? Yeah. How cute. You know Director Johnson doesn't approve. Look, I love Johnson, but sometimes he's just way too overprotective. I mean, it's not like he's my dad. The man did practically raise you. I know, but my relationship is my business. <clears throat> Agent 22. Director Johnson wants to see you. Somebody's in trouble. Shut up. Sir, you wanted to see me? Maya, I'm sorry, but we have reason to believe your boyfriend John has been involved in criminal activity and has been using you for intel. No, no, he wouldn't do that, and you promised me you wouldn't do a background check on him. I know, but since your relationship was getting more serious, I had to. I'm sorry. He's involved with the Mafia? Yes. I need you to bring him in. You think you can handle that? Consider it done. I knew he was too perfect. And here I was, planning for a marriage proposal. Meanwhile, he was probably planning my funeral. He's not getting away with this. Babe? Hey. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll, I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. You're, you're home, home early. early. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I'll do you one better, baby. I actually bought us some drinks. Your favorite. Oh, did you? What's the occasion? Does there need to be an occasion? No. No, of course not. Where's the drink? I'll pour it. Oh no, baby. You just sit back and relax. I got this. At least let me cook us some dinner, sweetheart. No thanks, baby. I'm not hungry. To us. To us. <clears throat> this has, uh... Kind of a kick to it. Didn't notice. Uh-huh. So, how long have you been a spy? Excuse me? Cut the crap, Maya. My boss found out about your little investigation on me. Alright. You caught me. My boss wants me to bring you in. That's funny. 
Mine asked me to do the same thing. Well, I hate to break it to you, baby, but that's not happening. I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? I made your drink very special. I know. So it's a good thing I switched them, isn't it? What? How did you switch the drinks? Well, that was easy. You looked down for a few seconds to check your phone. I'm guessing it was your boss texting you. I got closer to you, which naturally made you more defensive. And while I was busy trying to hide my phone screen, you switched the drinks. Look who's finally catching on. You sick son of a... Oh, easy now. Let go of me, you deceitful little... Shh. Just relax. It's over, Maya. I have her, sir. Bring her to me. Yes, sir. Hey, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I accidentally hit her head taking her out of the car. You know you're not actually her boyfriend. Yes, sir. I was just... She was an assignment. I understand. Good. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Time to wake up. Hello, Maya. I've waited a long time to meet you. Where am I? Like I'm gonna tell you that. What do you want from me? He just wants to talk. Shut up, John. I wasn't talking to you. Wow, John, you were right. She is feisty. So listen, I got questions, and if you don't give me answers, things are gonna get ugly. Do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. Maya, don't do this. Nah, John, it's fine. This is gonna be fun. Say it! <sighs> John, hand me that knife. Okay, wait. I'll tell you. Alright, so then tell me who your target was the day you met John. Rick. Rick Lawson. You see, John? Her team has been on to us since the beginning. Ricky didn't just disappear. You killed him, didn't you? He, he left me no choice. <clears throat> Liar. Let's give her a break. A break? She's now a threat to our entire organization. She's done. Wait a minute. This is not what we discussed. She killed Ricky. Sir, listen to me. No, you listen. You're doing this. You want me to... Should I tell the head leader you can't complete the job? That won't be necessary. Now, before I kill her, my... You're not gonna touch her ever again! You killed him. I'm gonna get you out of here. This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. <gasps> yes, sweet. I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flameproof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. Can I get a cape? No, no, no case. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh, ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill! I've got a plan, and you're gonna want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. See that bank? Yeah. Well, you and I are gonna rob it. Oh, alright. Sounds good to me. And look what I got. Our suits, but Mom and Dad said we're not Wear them to... until our birthdays. I know, but we gotta prove to them that we can be real villains. You know what? You're right. Wait, Max, what should our villain names be? Huh, how about I'm Frost and you're Blaze? Okay, not bad, Max. Let's do this. Everybody freeze. Do what he says or else you're gonna get barbecued. <laughs> Fry the safe. On it. Money, here we come. Whoa, look at all that cash. Not so fast! Careful, he's a super. What's your name? I'm Witherstorm! <laughs> nice! Why do they call you that? Allow me to demonstrate. Looks like Weather Boy can control Mother Nature. Blaze, get him. With pleasure. I don't think so! <gasps> uh, crap, my powers don't work in this rain. He's all yours, Frost. Don't worry, Blaze. I got him. I suggest you both surrender now before the cops show up. Giving up's not our style. I can't believe we escaped with so much cash. I know, right? Max, how did your scale move? I did something. <laughs> what did you do? I'll show you. Follow me to the lair. 
Ta-da! You brought the superhero to our house? Yeah, I had my buddies bring him over, and when he wakes up, I'm gonna find out his secret identity. I'm gonna use Dad's gadgets to interrogate him. Max, Dad's gadgets are really dangerous. I don't know if you should use them on him. What? Of course they're dangerous. That's the whole point. Hey! Your scale moved towards Hero. Oh, don't tell me you like him. You like him? I do not. Uh-uh. You think he's cute, don't you? No. As your twin, I can tell you're lying. Are you guys gonna argue this whole time? What the hell is this place? Your worst nightmare. Max. So, your real name's Max, huh? <clears throat> what? That must be my new gadget. Be right back. Why can't I use my powers? Sorry, but that bracelet on your wrist, it's a power dampener. I need you to set me free. And why is that? There's a tornado headed towards my family's house, and I'm the only one with the powers to stop it. Yeah, right. You really think I'm that stupid? I'm serious. Come on. I can see good in you. Please, you have to release me. Where is he? He, he escaped. Your scale. You let him free. I'm telling Mom and Dad. No, Max, wait. Stay there. Wait. Mom, Dad. Our lie detector arrived in the mail. Now tell us, did you set the hero free? No. Scanning. Lie detected. Mindy? I told you. Look, I'm sorry. It was only so he could protect his family. Plus, he promised he would owe me a favor in return. Mindy, that's enough. You are turning into a superhero. She sure has a crush on one. I do not. Listen very carefully. We don't date superheroes in this family. You're going to get rid of him. Understand? Now remember, if you don't complete the mission, don't come home. I saw you from down the street. You're not here to cause any trouble, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. How do you know my real name? My parents did some digging on you. Enough talk. Uh, you brought your brother with you? We're kind of a team. Stop! You're better than this! Shut up! My sister is a villain. Okay, Max, that's enough. Why aren't you fighting back? Because I... I don't want to hurt you. Huh, how pathetic. Finish him. No, I won't. You were right, Max. I... I do care about him. What? Ugh, I knew it. You've gone soft. You're almost a superhero. And you're in love with one. Well, who says heroes and villains can't like each other? No, you have to make a choice. Our family or him. Max. I'm serious, Mindy. Pick one. Fine, then I... Hmm, who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really? I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful.
You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyways? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No. <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter now. Say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey, is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's all right, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, you're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and Dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today, we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together, then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrina. Okay, true or false? A mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I going to grow a tail, too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh, no. I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. 
What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know- I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are gonna stay extinct anymore. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. <laughs> All right, okay, here you go. I'm going to give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <coughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow. Hey. <sighs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're going to work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about her? I was just gonna say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm going to find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, huh, you know, you got really nice. Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. It's okay. Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. 
<laughs> It'll be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. I failed them. Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college. But there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? <laughs> How did you- I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. <laughs> it's okay. Lucy, is everyone alright? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so. Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? Three. That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper, and you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, Princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. Excuse me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help. Oh, princess, hey, I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. Hurry up, open the door. You have to go, climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... Who gave you words? My queen, we caught a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it because I'm going to expose you to... 
What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at eighteen. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor, helpless princess should have just eaten the food. After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn? Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but, she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no! No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's Sugar Baby Girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please, call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir? Steven. Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number, in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's Mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college. And we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night. Ugh. But I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only twenty dollars in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. 
Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here and, hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit. You uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry. You're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi. I need help. I... Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? i turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no. I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm going to go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? Ooh. Shh. Listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because you. Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like, like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie? Found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. 
You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a hider? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Taste everything my boyfriend eats, or feel every time he gets hurt. I'm kind of a picky eater, so I'd rather know when he's getting hurt. Power activated. Should I tell him that I have this power now? Nah, that's kind of weird. What? What's weird, babe? Nothing. Uh, alright, well, I'm headed to the store. Okay, be safe. Ow, what the heck? What did he do to his hand? You kind of took a while. Yeah, traffic. I'm sorry, babe. Why is your fist all red? Oh, that. Yeah, I scraped myself at Home Depot today, picking up some plywood. <laughs> I gotta go into work. What? I know it's a weekend, but they need me. Can't you just cancel? <sighs> Not this time, babe. I'm sorry. I'll be back. Alright, be safe. You know, I never really found out where he actually works. I think that he just got... You know, I never really found out where he actually works. I think that he just got shot. Hey, it's me again. I'm really worried about you. Please, just call me back. Oh my god, babe. You're back. Are you okay? Yeah. Wait. Why are you asking me that? Well, I've just been really worried about you because you haven't answered any of my calls and I had this feeling that you- I'm fine, babe. Really. I just need a rest, please. We've been together for a year and I don't even know what his job is. I'm going to march right up there and ask him what- Ow! Did he just get hit in the head? Ah, oh, what is going on? I told you guys I quit! Babe! Is that guy- Don't worry, baby. He's just, uh, sleeping. There's something I have to tell you. I- I work for the Mafia. The what? I know, I know. It's bad. But today I quit and I promise- oh. Ow! Wait, why'd you say ow? Well, there's, uh, something that I need to tell you too. Please wish for me to pass my test! What? No! Leave me alone! How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch? Sure. You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to- Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm! I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie. Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay. Come here. No way. I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice. Now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Alright, you can have a little break. Come on. <sighs> you know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst. Melanie. Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? 
Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson, just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out! Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. <laughs> That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes. I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No, Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just want to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> Hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break up the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie! Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here! <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! <sighs> now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is going to be fun. Why are you packing the suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about Mom. You just need to show her a little more. <clears throat> now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to for Mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Pick a language to speak until you meet your soulmate. English or Spanish? I mean, everyone I know speaks English, so... Surprise attack! 
¿Qué te pasa? <laughs> Why are you speaking Spanish? Esto es su culpa. Oh, you must have been picking what language to speak today. Mamá, tenemos un problema. Honey, did you pick to speak Spanish until you kiss your soulmate? How did this happen? Well... Ella. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Aw, uh, it's okay, baby. Seriamente? Oh, stop. You'll be fine. Go to school. Don't worry, bestie. I speak Spanish. I can translate for you. Sí que. Gracias. Hey, girly, I gotta do something. I'll be right back. Just wait here. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Sorry, girl. I don't speak Spanish. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Are you speaking Spanish, girly? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hey, I couldn't help but hear you said your head was hurting. Sí, puedes entenderme. Sí, hablo español. I can understand you. Follow me. You said you need your medication. Where's your backpack? I... Okay. ¿Te sientes mejor? Did the medication help? Sí, gracias. So, you can't speak English at all right now? And you won't be able to until you kiss your soulmate? You never know, maybe you and I are soulmates. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we should try to... Well, that was nice. Sorry if I'm being awkward. No, it's okay. No way, you just spoke English. You and I must be soulmates. soulmates. Hey, Victoria, it's Jane, your favorite sister. Yeah, I miss you too. But I'm currently in Maya's closet, deciding which clothes I want to steal. Jane? Who are you talking to? Speak of the devil. Yeah, she's calling me. Look, after she has this baby, if you want to help me kidnap her, I wouldn't be opposed to the idea. Just saying. We should totally... Hmm. I have to go. So I guess you and Victoria are plotting against me now. Come on, we were kidding. Now, what did you want? And don't ask why I'm in your closet. Fine. I actually wanted to know if you would babysit for John and I tonight. Maya, honey, you and John have four kids. I think you've had enough alone time. <sighs> we're not having that kind of alone time. We're going on a date. And before you say no, it's just AJ, and I'll pay you 15 an hour. Make it 20. 15? 20 or no deal. Okay, 20 it is. I hate you. Did you convince her? Mm-hmm, but we're paying her 20 instead of 15. You're kidding. Yeah, look, maybe we just shouldn't even go. No, sweetheart. We've been planning this for months now. You deserve a break. Everything is going to be fine. What happened? Would you relax? He just got upset because his show ended. Ah, <sighs> phew. False alarm. Go, leave, have fun. I'll be here watching Coco Melon all night. We really appreciate it. Just call us if you need anything. This is nice. Yeah, I miss this. We should call. Babe, it's been 20 minutes. Relax. Oh, kill me now. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, you're sitting over there. <laughs> Kid? Oh, shit! That little menace. But remember what happened to Emma when she was a baby? We went out to dinner and when we came back- Victoria had her, I know. But that's not gonna happen this time. We were tired from being spies. We don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. AJ, where are you? Hmm. How did you... You know what? I don't even care anymore. Okay. You're done. Yeah, I am so not in the mood for this. Deactivate, deactivate. I think that was the song. We're going to bed. Well, I'm allergic to cats, so guess I'll have to have a twin of myself. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. My mom wants me to go do the dishes. I'll be right back, okay? No, no, I can do them for you. For real? Totally, your mom will just think I'm you. Just stay here, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, thanks. Maybe having a twin isn't so bad. Bye, babe, talk to you later. Was that your boyfriend? Yeah. Can I see a picture of him? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, this is him. Aw, he's so cute. I know, right? Damn it. What's wrong? I just realized I have a history test today. I didn't even study. Oh, I could take it for you. I'm great at history. Wait, you are? 
Yeah, I totally got this. I'm just like you, you know, but I'm just a little bit smarter. How'd it go? Well, I got you a 100%. No way. Yep, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go meet your friend Amy, and we're gonna go get her nails done. Wait, what? Is something wrong? Well, it's just Amy's my best friend. Oh, I know, but she thinks that I'm you, and I just thought since I took your test, I could have some time to relax, but if you don't want me to go... No, go ahead. You deserve a break. Hey, sorry I took so long. We went out to dinner after. You did? Yeah, Amy is such a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Oh, where are you off to dress all fancy like that? I am going on a little date with Ian. You sure you don't need me to take your place? No, that's okay. I'm just kidding with you. Go have fun. Hey girl, how'd it go? It was so nice. He... Why are you looking at my laptop? Oh, I was just looking at some pictures of you and your boyfriend, and I was reading through your diary. I did not know you struggled with anxiety. Hey, that's private. I just thought since I'm your twin, I should know more about you. Get out of my room. After all I did for her, and she's going to yell at me like that? I don't think so. I just want to say I'm sorry for looking at your laptop. I shouldn't have done that. Don't even worry about it. I shouldn't have got so upset at you either. It's totally fine. I forgive you. Are you going on another date? Yeah, Ian's going to take me to go see a movie. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that for you guys. Hey, um, I grabbed this out of the fridge. I didn't really like it. Do you want it? Actually, this one's my favorite, so thanks. You ready to go? Whoa. Oh, what's wrong? I don't know. My head just feels really weird. Oh, honey, you need to lay down. That's it. Just relax. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Perfect. I'm doing your boyfriend a favor. He's going to have so much more fun with me than he would have with you. <gasps> she stole my phone. And she locked all the doors. I knew I should have gotten that cat. Hey there, sleepyhead. Did you enjoy your little nap? Where's Ian? Oh, he just left. We had an amazing time. He even said that I'm a great kisser. You kissed him? Well, more like he kissed me, but... <laughs> you really should have done that. Give me back my phone. No, I don't think I will. Remember when I told you that I was smarter than you? Well, guess what? I'm also stronger than you, too. So which dress do you think Ian will like better? This one? Or, hold on, do you think he'll like this one better? I think you're right. I think he's going to like the first one better. Well, thanks for the help, but um, you probably won't last too much longer in here. I found out in your diary that you're hypoglycemic. Hey, guys. Hey, babe. Wait, are you crying? What? No, I'm not. Come on, Brianna. We're your best friends. You can tell us anything. Can you guys just come over to my house? So what's wrong? It's Derek. He... He broke up with me over text today. Wait, Derek? As in school player Derek? School player? What do you mean? He plays every girl in school. He'll act like he likes you, he'll use you, and then he'll break your heart. Seriously? Why would he do that? No one knows, but what I know is that it's time someone taught him a lesson. We could do it? No, I don't know about that. Yeah, Nicole, I don't know. It might not work. Trust me, ladies. It will work, and I have the perfect plan. Step one is to give you a makeover so that you look absolutely irresistible. Step two, get his attention. Step three, get him to go out with you. Bree? You, uh, <clears throat> you look different. Do you like my new look? You know, Bri I've been thinking. I made a huge mistake breaking up with you. Um, how about, how about I take you on a date or, or something so that we can talk? Uh, I don't know. Come on! Have you ever made a mistake? Okay, fine. But you are paying for the date. Okay, girls, take these so you can listen to our conversation. Okay. It's time to revenge on the school player. Thanks again for giving me a second chance. Of course, but, um, can I ask you something? Sure, anyway. When you and I were dating, you know, before you broke up with me, did you ever, did you ever cheat? Um. I think I do. Hey, I promise I won't be mad, okay? 
I cheated more. I wouldn't even consider it cheating, to be honest. It was nothing. <sighs> Are you serious? Girls come up to me all the time, asking, do you want to hang out? Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, so have you, like, cheated on other girls, too? Cheating, cheating's a strong word. Derek, it's a yes or no answer, come on. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being interrogated right now? Okay, yeah, that was in the past. I want to focus on us. I want to focus on you. <sighs> Oh gosh, would you look at that. My mom needs me to come home. Oh, and we were having so much fun. Don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow at school, okay? It's time to get revenge on the school player. <laughs> Bree, come here. Why is everyone staring at us? Mm, no one's staring at me, Derek. They're staring at you. What are you talking about? Oh, how cute. He still doesn't know. Don't know what, exactly. Got your little confession on video. Derek, remember how you used to tease me for being a klutz? Well, clumsy old me. I was recording you. I didn't realize. And then I accidentally leaked the video to the entire school. You what? Yeah. Maybe next time you'll think twice before playing every girl in school. I'm a go-getter. If I see what I like, I'm going to go after it. <laughs> Sorry, Derek, but I had to. I don't want any girl to go through what I went through, because no one deserves to get their emotions played with. Have a nice day. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some celebrating to do. <laughs> oh, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <sighs> what happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker, mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out, come here. That was a lot of smoke, are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me. Sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm gonna be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would, because nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> my voice is back on me again! Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> so who is this boy on your phone that you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced dad and got that hairstyle? You turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and ugh. What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16-year-old self. I've gotta call Susan. Oh my god, who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing. No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes, I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this. Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was gonna say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tits, we're going shopping. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're gonna need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now, come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day. And then you're gonna make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. 
You know what, Susan? This is going to be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just going to be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm going to be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Could I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no, God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Sam, you're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also brought you some snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? You know my name. It says it right there on your backpack. Oh. Did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here, and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where's Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is going to be at your ex-husband's, and you met him in high school, so he's going to recognize you looking like this. What am I going to do? Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I cannot believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a... Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh, baby. Sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you, so you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say that dress looks really good on you. Gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I- Get out of my house! You heard her, get out! Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? what? Why not? She'll, she'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? For coming, I, I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Toots, listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go. But Susan, wait, where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth, your, your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? H how do you know that? Because I lived it, because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I've put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. 
Hey guys. Mom, you look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's all right. I know about the party, too. And I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to, going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. She was an angel. Let's talk about relationships! Okay? Yeah. What's going on with you? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> you go. <laughs> well, I, I, there was this guy at the bank that I thought was cute. Um, but I don't anymore. <laughs> wow. That's, uh, juicy. So, how many words you get for the year? Only three again. Aw, oh, might as well use them up. Come on. I love you. And I love you more. Hi, what can I get you today? She doesn't have any words, miss, but I'll order for her. She's just gonna have a salad, but I'm gonna get a cheeseburger, double fries. Babe, you're looking kind of pale today. You wanna get your makeup done? Yeah, you do. Come on, let's go. I love this color on you. Me too. Hey, babe, show her the bruise. Any chance you can cover that? She's so clumsy. Oh, yeah, totally. We can take care of that. Sir, would you want to buy the concealer I use on her? Actually, yeah, that'd be great. I'll go pay for this. You stay here. I love this. He can't hear us anymore. Here, take some words. Please, you can trust me. Is something wrong? He can't hear you right now. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm going to need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. He's not my boyfriend. He's not, is he? I knew it. Okay, listen, I'm going to get help for you. But I'm gonna need you to give me some more information. He's coming. Okay, got the concealer. Time to go. Sir, wait. Why is the makeup lady chasing after us? Sir! Let's get out of here. Well, that was weird. Did, did she at least cover up your bruise? Good. Good. Go change your hair to a different style. I'm gonna go make dinner. You look much better now, babe. Breaking news as of today. What's going on? Let me turn this up. No, don't! Did you just... How the hell did you get words? So now you want to be quiet, huh? Answer me! How did you get them? You don't have any left now, do you? Give me that remote. You better hope this news isn't about you. So this girl comes into my makeup store with a bruise. I gave her some words and it turns out the man she was with... <laughs> you ratted me out? After everything that I've done for you, I have been so good to you. Now that's gonna change. Police, open the door. They finally found me, but they won't find you. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. I'm the only one who lives here. Yeah, well, I've searched the whole place. I haven't seen anything. Right, the missing girl's obviously not here. It seems so, but you match the description of the kidnapper. There's definitely been a mistake. Down here! I'm down here! What was that? Wait a minute, don't- Oh my god. You found me. Ma'am, stay right there. Mr. Hart, you're under arrest. Thank you so much for finding me. He's had me here for two years. He's been controlling your words. What? Yes, ma'am. We found this illegal device on him that steals people's words. That would explain why every year I would only get three words. Go on. Say it. I love you. And he made me say I loved him. Hey, come here. Ugh. You don't deserve to- Ugh. Get back here. The only one that doesn't deserve to speak is you. That's right, and she's keeping your words permanently. Now you finally see what it feels like to not have a voice. It doesn't feel good, does it? Prison's gonna be real fun for him. Ugh. You're finally free now. Alright, Mr. Hart, let's go. Any last words before you go off to prison? <sighs> oh wait, you don't have any. <laughs> Look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the- uh -huh. That just floated out of my hands! Freaks! Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. 
I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Good morning, children. Oh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Uh, yeah. Good. Come here. I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Whoa, is that a gaming system? Look at all these video games. I've never seen so many Squishmallows in my life. They're all yours. Hungry for Starbucks? You have a Starbucks in your house? That is so cool. Would you two like some Frappuccinos? Yes, yes please. please. Children, I have to go to a meeting. Please stay in this room until I get back. Hey, Molly, yeah. aren't you glad you gave him a chance? <laughs> what are you doing? We're not supposed to use our powers. Someone could see us. Chill out. No one's around. Come play with us, Molly. <laughs> Come on, I know you want to use your powers. <laughs> your koala better square up. <laughs> Stop. What? What happened? I don't know. I just feel like something's wrong. Up there. Oh no. A camera. That means he's been watching us this whole time, and he knows about our powers. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I think I know how we can escape. I see you found the camera. You two aren't going anywhere. I know you both have powers. And I'm not letting you two leave this place ever. What do you want from us? I want you to help me take over the world. You're crazy. <gasps> Maybe, but now you're stuck with me. Take them to the experiment room. No! It's gonna be okay. Give me that. You give her that back or else... <sighs> you try anything and he'll attack you. Hey, you can talk to animals, right? I haven't done it in a really long time. He's gonna be back any minute, just try. Please calm down. We need your help. We don't mean you any harm. Good boy, now go do what I told you. He's gonna help us escape. Yes, I knew that would work. Whoa, boy, what are you doing? Hey, get off of me! Run! Wait, I almost forgot. Molly, come on! Watch out, another bodyguard is coming! Let's go! Hello? Did your penguin just talk? Molly, Max, is that you? Yes, it's us. Who is this? It's me, your mom. And me, your dad. What? It's a long story, but all of us aren't from this planet. Molly, let me see that. We believe we're close by to you. Follow your instincts and find us. I think it's really them. Let's go meet them. You are not meeting anyone. You two belong to me. No, we don't. Molly, now. <gasps> hey, put me down. Okay. Whatever, Whatever you, you say. say. <laughs> Time to go find our real parents. No way. This has got to be it. This is the ship. I kind of remember it now. I think I see mom and dad. Come on. Pick a language to speak until you meet your soulmate. English or Spanish? I mean, everyone I know speaks English, so... Surprise attack! ¿Qué te pasa? <laughs> Why are you speaking Spanish? Esto es su culpa. Oh, you must have been picking what language to speak today. Mamá, tenemos un problema. Honey, did you pick to speak Spanish until you kiss your soulmate? How did this happen? Well... Ella. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Aw, uh, it's okay, baby. Seriamente? Oh, stop. You'll be fine. Go to school. Don't worry, bestie. I speak Spanish. I can translate for you. Sí, que. Gracias. Hey, girly, I gotta do something. I'll be right back. Just wait here. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Sorry, girl. I don't speak Spanish. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Are you speaking Spanish, girly? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hey, I couldn't help but hear you said your head was hurting. Sí, puedes entenderme. Sí, hablo español. I can understand you. Follow me. You said you need your medication. Where's your backpack? I... Okay. ¿Te sientes mejor? Did the medication help? Sí, gracias. So, you can't speak English at all right now? And you won't be able to until you kiss your soulmate? You never know, maybe you and I are soulmates. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we should try to... Well, that was nice. Sorry if I'm being awkward. No, it's okay. No way, you just spoke English. You and I must be soulmates. soulmates. When I come to a party? Uh-uh, if you want to come, you have to talk. <laughs> no writing stuff down either. Give me that. <laughs> Aw, she's getting sad. Hey, give that back to her. There. <laughs> Here, what's your guys' deal? Relax, new guy. We were just playing around. Yeah, it's not our fault her voice is locked. You know, she's the only girl in the whole school that hasn't kissed her soulmate. It's a small school. She can just text what she wants to say. Actually, no. Her parents don't even let her have a phone. Don't listen to them. Here's some paper. 
I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, you okay? You're kind of shaking. Is everything all right? Do you want me to open it? Stella, what are you doing? You're not supposed to talk to boys. Let's go. Let's go. Potter talking to a boy today. Probably trying to find her soulmate, but that's never going to happen. Stella? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you alright? Aw, uh, you haven't kissed your soulmate yet, have you? Well, are you in some sort of trouble? Stella! There you are. What's going on? Are these your parents? Oh, stop it. Come here. So sorry about this. Whoa! Time to go. What did you do? He did what had to be done. He's gone, and it's your fault. Anybody home? That's the boy from her school. I'll take care of this one. She's freaking out over here. What'd you do with the boy? Relax. I sent him home. I told him you were asleep. He seemed worried. Have you been asking people for help at school? You better not be, because you know what will happen if you do. Now tomorrow. You're gonna smile and go to school, and if your mom catches you talking to that boy again, he's gonna meet the same fate as the truck driver. Stella, I want to talk to you about the note. Wait, I think I know how to help you. I'm pretty sure that you and I are, uh, soulmates. You think so too, right? That's why you gave me the note, so I could help you get your voice. You need me to kiss you. Hey, it's okay, I know you're nervous, but it's worth a shot, right? Come on, you gotta unlock your voice. One kiss. Did it work? I don't know. Hey, we're soulmates, alright. There's something that I have to tell you. What do you want to tell me? The woman that's coming, she's not my real mom. I was taken from my real parents. What? Why would they do that? Because they wanted my- Stella, you're kidding me. Guess you didn't learn your lesson. Hey, let's go. No, you can talk? Wait a minute, shouldn't you be happy for her? I am happy. It's just that my daughter, she's deeply troubled. Don't listen to anything that she- Oh, hush. Ow. Hey, is she all right? She's okay, but like I said, she's not so well in the mind. Can we have a moment? Uh, okay. No, wait. Let go. I have my voice back now. It's over, Karen. Everyone is going to know the truth about what you... About what you... Shh, that's enough. Ugh, I don't know what we're going to do. The little brat kissed her soulmate. Well, she's not going to stay asleep for long. I think her soulmate might have called the... Hey, this is the police. Open the door. Shit, we have to hide her. Good news, I got the cops to leave. Great, because she wouldn't stop squirming. Ugh, you guys can't just hide me here forever. She's right. Well, do you got any bright ideas? Legend says if a girl's soulmate dies, the girl loses her voice permanently. You're going to call your soulmate and invite him over. No, I won't. Yes, you will, or you're never going to see your real family again. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for confusing you today, and I just wanted to tell you that I'm fine, and I was wondering if you wanted to come over. Yeah, sure. Such a good girl. I think he's here. Uh, she's right there. Stella, what's going on? Run. Why don't you keep her company? Uh, we'll be back. I'm so sorry. This uh, this was a trap. They they made me call you. It's all right. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Any last words, kid? No, please. I got some words for you. My dad's a cop. Freeze, please. Stella, you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. Ugh, get off of me, babe. Do something. Ugh, forget it. It's over. We were so close to getting your bank account, Stella. You were almost 18. You just had to wait three more months. We told you we'd let you go after that. That's enough out of you. Come on. Don't worry. We're going to find your real parents. That would mean the world to me. I haven't seen them since I was 10 years old. You're going to see them again. My dad and I will make sure of it. I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Same here. Who do you think you're gonna get? I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? 
Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Ho, ho, there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm going to go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly! Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working! The hole is closing up! Alright, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Want to see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... you are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go! You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho, <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Honey, his family cannot be trusted. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Well, I can actually use your help. Awesome, because I already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story. Plus, I totally ship you guys. Aw, thanks. Well, what's your plan? Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which is already done. But they never take afternoon naps. Uh, let's just say I gave them some special milk. Winky! It was the only way. Now, follow me. This is the house. Now, I'll distract Jack while you go look for Jared. Okay. Why is it so hot in here? Holly, is that you? Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, the heat. It makes me weak. Come on, we gotta get you outside. It's no use. I can't get up. Just go. No, I'm not leaving you here. Okay, Jared, I hope you've learned your... What do you think you're doing? Holly, run! And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're gonna pay the price. 
Just a few more minutes and you'll be frozen forever. Hey! Get away from her! Don't worry, I'm gonna stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> and you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise. I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. I think I can help with that. Four million dollars or a stick? Oh, look at me. I'm going to go choose the stick. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Kit, stick selected. Whoa, that's a cool stick. You're welcome. That's it. Come here. Mom! Leah, why are you chasing her? Because she made me pick a freaking stick over four million dollars. Leah, don't be so hard on her. She's only eight. Did you hear what I just said? You literally always side with her. I wish you were my age so you could understand how I feel. Wish granted. Hey, girls. Want to go to a party tonight? Mommy? Mom? Hey, who are you calling a mom? <laughs> Did I just turn her into a teenager? I think this stick is actually a magic wand. Yeah, you think? Turn her back! Okay, okay. I wish my mom was back. Ugh. Who are you? I am your mother, and I have been looking for you too. You are my daughters. She's trying to trick us. I wish for my real mom to come back. Wish already granted. What? This thing must be broken. Say mom's name! Good idea. I wish for Laura Jones to reappear and for this creepy woman to disappear. No, wait! <laughs> Girls? Mom! What happened? Leah made you disappear, and a mean lady came. Yeah, it turns out this stick is actually a magic wand, so... Sorry. Girls, that mean lady was actually your mom. What? what? Yes, I'm actually your big sister, and I took you guys away from her when you were little and raised you both. No, I... I would have remembered that. No, you wouldn't, because I also got a wand for my birthday, and... I erased your memories of her. You've been lying to us. It was for your protection. She was horrible. No, I don't trust you. I wish for a real mom, too. Stop! I wish Leah was frozen. Unfreeze her! I just need to take her wand. I wish for her to unfreeze. Whoa, what the... I'm sorry, Leah. This is for your own good. I wish for her to forget what just happened. No! Mom, what happened? Nothing. You just need to rest. No, she's lying. She made you forget. I wish for Kit to fall asleep. Hmm. Why would you do that? I... Is that my wand? No, Leah! Ugh. Why can't I remember anything? Because you, um... I wish to remember everything I forgot. No! <sighs> You're my big sister? Oh my gosh, Kit. I wish for Kit to wake up. Whoa, that was really trippy. I'm taking your wand. No! Ugh. Kit, give it back! I wish for you to tell us the truth. Was our mom really evil? Yeah, she was, but I shouldn't have erased your memories. I'm sorry. We, we forgive you. you. Here's your wand back, but I accidentally broke it a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. My wand! Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him, but definitely not him. What? Next. But I... And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You'll have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must! I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. 
Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, Your Highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Oh, you're right. My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who... Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I... Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow, and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, Your Highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding! That man is a fraud! Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until when? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm going to love you just the same. Poor thing. It's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? <laughs> no, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh, yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. 
This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise. But you do owe me quite a bit of cash. So what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff. But I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10K. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. Wrong answer. Oh, Dad, don't! Please, please wait. You must learn, son, to never put a woman first in your relationship. What the? Real interesting philosophy you have about relationships. It's no wonder ours ended in divorce. Mom, what the hell do you think you're doing? Ooh. Banning something that should actually be illegal. Goodbye goon number one, and goodbye goon number two. Ooh. That's for taking my son away from me. Mom, you, you just killed dad. I know, honey. It had to be done. Hey, sweetheart, open your eyes. We have to get out of here. Come on, you can trust me. Oh, thanks. This way. Where are we? The room with the deactivation button. What? Well, what are you waiting for? Press it! No. Whoever presses the button dies. Mom, I'll press it. Jake, no, please. The system has to be stopped. You're right, but not by you. No, no. Mom! I love you. <laughs> mom? No, Mom. The system's down. She saved everyone. My parents, they're... they're both gone. Jake, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Promise. Promise you won't ever leave me. Jake, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, she... she would have wanted us to be happy. We have to run. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, are you okay? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna stick together, right? Always. I'm so glad I have you. Me too. There's something I've been meaning to do. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Coffee mushrooms. I hear you. Oh shit. Coffee mushrooms. I hear you. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. 
Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he didn't. Mate. Oh, no, he didn't. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. <gasps> oh, he is so dead. Honey, Mom, oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But, Mom... Uh-uh, get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna... May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but... There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to... Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and... Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom! There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay. Here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... <gasps> you don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm, I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No. Leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? 
You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to- Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is. I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh okay, come here. No way! I just got a billion dollars in my account! Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice! Now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Alright, you can have a little break. Come on. <sighs> you know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish. I wish. For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Want to come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing Truth or Dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay. We dare you to kiss Peter. Whoa! Oh it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. She's so dumb. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! hey. Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute, and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're gonna go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What?
Yo, just one more kiss. She did it. I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, <laughs> I know. I... Somebody's got a crush. Oh. <laughs> Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular. And if you come for her title, girl, she's going to come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, <clears throat> if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. No way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you... And the winner for prom queen goes to... Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney! First she becomes more popular than me and now she's prom queen? It's time for plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile. Congrats, Cindy! She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter... went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I... I lied, okay? What? Why would you... Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You could meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. Please, Lucas, go get my EpiPen. I can't breathe. Rebecca, tell my boys to let Peter go. It's done. Her throat is closing up. Let's get her some oxygen. Inject her with the antihistamine now. They said she's going to make it. I heard Rebecca and Lucas are going to present. Can't believe she made it to 100%. This is so going in the yearbook. Hey, everybody out. She has to rest. Peter? Hey, Sid, you're awake. Where's my dad? He got stuck in a really bad traffic jam. He's on his way. I told him I'd wait here with you. Sid, you don't know how worried I was. Rebecca and Lucas are going to pay for what they did. I'm just so happy you're okay. Peter, look. Hey. <laughs> you know, I knew it was you. I found this on the ground. Thought I'd return it to you. You get some rest. You know what to say. Mm hmm I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn... Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but, she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no. No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's Sugar Baby Girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please, call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. 
That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir. Stephen. Stephen, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's Mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college. And we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night. Ugh. But I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only twenty dollars in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here, and hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit. You, uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry. You're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. 911, oh. what's your emergency? Yes, hi. I need help. I... Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go. Why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Maria! Elizabeth? How did you- Shh. Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here. Uh, eat pepper spray, you creep. Oh, my eyes. Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again. I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're going to win. Big time. <laughs> How many words, honey? I got a hundred. Remember, you have to use them by midnight or you die. I got this. I know. I'll be fine. Ugh, crap. I barely talked at all today at school. I still have 50 words left and it's almost midnight. 
I have an idea. This one is for the boys with the booming system. Top down AC with the cooling system. Boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 super bass. All words used. How many words today, hun? Zero? Wow, you lucky girl. Have fun. You really got zero words to use up today? Well, girl, I got a lot of words I gotta use up, so you can just listen to me talk. So, they all thought my scar was fake. You're listening, right? Okay, good. So, then my boyfriend was like, I am so sorry to do this, hun. I just can't handle all these words. Why would you do that? There is three hours till midnight. I can't use up 10,000 words. There's something you need to know about me. There is three hours until midnight. I cannot use up 10,000 words. There's something you should know. I'm not actually your mom. Am I adopted? <laughs> no, your real mom has been taken. I'm your mom's twin. Wait, what? Where is my mom? She was sent somewhere to be killed. You're lying. I'm sorry, it's because she didn't use up all her words. No. And thanks to me, you'll be taken away soon, too. My sister and I have a bad past. I'm just getting revenge. I work for the system, so if you can use up all your words by midnight, I'll let you save her. Okay, fine. Then I'll start by cussing you out, you maniacal little bit. No way you're finishing by midnight. I have a happy birthday. Look what came in the mail. An egg. It's your very own magical creature. Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now. Don't give me that attitude. You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm going to take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm going to need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with... Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh, no. You and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you going to do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it... It healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello, actress. Wake up. What happened? I saw your life. Mom, what did you do to her? You. you used your laser vision on her? Yes, I protect you. Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home.
Ready for the cool school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling... Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Isn't the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No. Legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared, and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look. <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Julia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well, attention students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. <sighs> Don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear. I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always going to be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. 
Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrina. Okay, true or false, say mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I going to grow a tail, too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh no, I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Shh. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. Wrong answer. Oh, Dad, don't. Please, please wait. You must learn, son, to never put a woman first in your relationship. What the? Real interesting philosophy you have about relationships. It's no wonder ours ended in divorce. Mom, what the hell do you think you're doing? Banning something that should actually be illegal. Goodbye, goon number one, and goodbye, goon number two. <gasps> That's for taking my son away from me. Mom, you, you just killed Dad. I know, honey. It had to be done. Hey, sweetheart, open your eyes. We have to get out of here. Come on, you can trust me. Oh, thanks. This way. Where are we? The room with the deactivation button. What? Well, what are you waiting for? Press it! No. Whoever presses the button dies. Mom, I'll press it. Jake, no, please. The system has to be stopped. You're right, but not by you. No, no. Mom! I love you. <laughs> mom? No, Mom. The system's down. She saved everyone. My parents, they're... they're both gone. Jake, I'm so sorry. <sighs> promise. Promise you won't ever leave me. Jake, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, she... she would have wanted us to be happy. We have to run. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, are you okay? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna stick together, right? Always. I'm so glad I have you. Me too. There's something I've been meaning to do. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm gonna go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. 
Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot. But... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh shit. Coffee mushrooms. Oh, shit. Coffee mushrooms. Oh, shit. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, <laughs> there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, no, no. She just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he didn't. Mate. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. <gasps> oh, he is so dead. Honey. Mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But mom... Uh-uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna- May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it, it's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but- There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to- Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and- Lion Tamer. Lion Tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom- there you are! You're late! Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion? Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful, so I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right, come on, let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. <laughs> Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. <sighs> please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay, here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there? Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats! You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... <gasps> you don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish, I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10.
Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm, I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No. Leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch, or...? You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to... Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for... Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm. I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her. I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited. Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home. What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is, I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh okay, come here. No way, I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. Alright, you can have a little break, come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst. Melanie. Grayson? What are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. Oh, that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Miss Cindy White? Yes, that's me. Hi, welcome to Castle High. Your popularity score will now appear above your head. Don't ask me how to make it go up. It's a secret. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies? Yes, I'm actually highly allergic to apples. Noted. All right, get to class. Here is your name tag. Oh, look. It's the most unpopular girl in school. How did you get yours up to 70%? <laughs> oh, Sydney, you're so pathetic. Wanna come to my party? Uh, yeah. Sweet. I'll airdrop you the address. Okay. Sid, we're playing truth or dare. Pick one. Dare. Okay. We dare you to kiss Peter. Whoa! <laughs> it's just for fun. Come on, we're waiting. Okay, okay. She's so dumb. Your popularity went up. Congrats. Don't congratulate her. She only has 10%, and she needs 100% to meet her soulmate. And we all know that's not gonna happen. 
Don't listen to what Rebecca says to you. She's a nobody. Peter, she's literally the most popular girl in school. I know, but not for long. We have a plan. Who's we? Me and seven of my other basketball teammates. Meet us at the boys' locker room during lunch. Peter, I really shouldn't be in here. <laughs> Sid, it's all good. Let me go get the team. Guys, this is Sydney. Hey! hey. Yo, Sydney! Hey. You guys want to raise my popularity score? Yes, ma'am. We think you're kind of cute and way nicer than Rebecca. And since you got 10% right now, if you kiss all of us, you're going to go up to 80. Making you more popular than Rebecca Queen. I don't know about this. Come on, Sydney. We're sick of Rebecca thinking she's better than everyone. Hey, Siri. Who's the most popular girl in Castle High? You. But not for long. Who's the second most popular? Sydney. White. What? Yo, just one more kiss. She did it. I made it to 80%. Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, yeah. What? No, I... Somebody's got a crush. Oh. <laughs> Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular, and if you come for her title, girl, she's gonna come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, <clears throat> if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Your mother knew you so well. That dress looks perfect on you, honey. You look like a real-life princess. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Of course. You ready to go? Can't believe you and Rebecca are tied. Well, I'd like to change that. The name's Brock. May I kiss you? Um... Go ahead, Sid. It's time you put Rebecca in her place. Peter, I made it to 90%. No way. You're the most popular girl in school now. <laughs> Listen, I've actually been meaning to tell you. And the winner for prom queen goes to Miss Sydney White. Yo, Sydney! Oh my gosh, she's my friend. Sydney, Sydney. First, she becomes more popular than me, and now she's prom queen. It's time for Plan B. I need your help. You remember how Sydney's allergic to apples? Yeah. Uh huh. Well, I have a job for you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? My rat, Sydney! She looks so pretty! Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter... went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I... I lied, okay? What? Why would you- Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You can meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. Please, Lucas, go get my EpiPen. I can't breathe. Rebecca, tell my boys to let Peter go. It's done. Her throat is closing up. Let's get her some oxygen. Inject her with the antihistamine now. They said she's gonna make it. I heard Rebecca and Lucas are going to prison. Can't believe she made it to 100%. This is so going in the yearbook. Hey, everybody out. She has to rest. Peter? Hey, Sid, you're awake. Where's my dad? He got stuck in a really bad traffic jam. He's on his way. I told him I'd wait here with you. Sid, you don't know how worried I was. Rebecca and Lucas are going to pay for what they did. I'm just so happy you're okay. Peter, look. Hey. <laughs> you know, I knew it was you. I found this on the ground. Thought I'd return it to you. You get some rest. You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! 
Where did you learn? Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth, it was just a joke. But, but she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no. No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, at sugar baby girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please, call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir. Stephen. Stephen, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college, and we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night. Ugh. But I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than ten. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only twenty dollars in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here, and, hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit. You, uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry. You're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. <coughs> 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi. I need help. I... <coughs> Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go. Why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. 
But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Bria! Elizabeth? How did you- Shh! Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here. Uh, eat pepper spray, you creep! Oh, my eyes! Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again! I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> How many words, honey? I got a hundred. Remember, you have to use them by midnight or you die. I got this. I know. I'll be fine. Ugh, crap. I barely talked at all today at school. I still have 50 words left and it's almost midnight. I have an idea. This one is for the boys with the booming system. Top-down AC with the cooling system. <laughs> boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 super bass. All words used. How many words today, hun? Zero? Wow, you lucky girl. Have fun. You really got zero words to use up today? Well, girl, I got a lot of words I gotta use up, so you can just listen to me talk. So, they all thought my score was fake. You're listening, right? Okay, good. So, then my boyfriend was like, I am so sorry to do this, hun. I just can't handle all these words. Why would you do that? There is three hours till midnight. I can't use up 10,000 words. There's something you need to know about me. There is three hours until midnight. I cannot use up 10,000 words. There's something you should know. I'm not actually your mom. Am I adopted? <laughs> no, your real mom has been taken. I'm your mom's twin. Wait, what? Where is my mom? She was sent somewhere to be killed. You're lying. I'm sorry, it's because she didn't use up all her words. No. And thanks to me, you'll be taken away soon, too. My sister and I have a bad past. I'm just getting revenge. I work for the system, so if you can use up all your words by midnight, I'll let you save her. Okay, fine. Then I'll start by cussing you out, you maniacal little bit. No way you're finishing by midnight. I have a happy birthday. Look what came in the mail. An egg. It's your very own magical creature. Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now. Don't give me that attitude. You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm going to take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. <laughs> That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered. I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. What are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it, it healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. 
Mom, did you really steal me from Dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not, and for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... Mom, what did you do to her? You used your laser vision on her? Yes, I'll protect you. Thank you. Molly, is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be, before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. Ready for the cool school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling. Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Is it the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No, legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just... Ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look. <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Julia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well, attention students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. <sighs> Don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear. I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in the school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry I'm not your real dad. 
Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always going to be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. Darling, did your creature name appear yet? No, not yet, but obviously it's gonna say vampire since you and dad are both vampires. Well, actually... You're not our biological child. What? So I'm adopted? Yes, we found you abandoned by the ocean. I don't understand. If I'm not a vampire, then what am I? Well, we think you might be... I'm a mermaid? Why would you keep this a secret from me? We had a very good reason. Mermaids are extinct. You are the last of your kind. Guys, this shell just appeared on me. <gasps> the mermaid's mark. Cover it with your hair. Can't we just use makeup? No, darling. Makeup will not work. Let's hope the kids at Creature High will not notice your mark. Welcome to Creature High. Today we'll be pairing up for a quiz. A quiz on the first day? No wonder they call her Miss Cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet. You two think you're so funny? Well, pair up together then. So, what creature are you? I'm a vampire. Sweet, me too. But my fangs haven't come in yet. <laughs> Mine either. I'm Draculogan. I'm Adrina. Okay, true or false, say mermaid will transform after getting her mark. Transform? Yeah, I mean, they gotta grow a tail at some point, right? I'm putting true. Hey, help us, please. Can you hear that? Hear what? Only you can hear us. Please let us out of this tank. Don't worry, I will. Adrina, were you talking to the... What is that mark? So your teacher saw your mark? Yeah. Well, what did you say? I told her that it was fake, but now everyone in my class thinks that I'm weird. Darling, your hair. She is starting to transform. Am I going to grow a tail, too? Yes, eventually. I think I have something that can help. Here, drink this. What is this? A potion that will turn you back to normal. There's nothing in here. It is invisible potion. Drink it, please. Yes, it worked. But is it supposed to make you feel sick? Unfortunately, that is a side effect. If you feel yourself transform again, take a sip of the potion. Hey, Dracky Logan. Sup, Adrina. And you can just call me Logan. Did you dye your hair, though? Oh, no. I have to drink my potion. What? What is going on? Listen, if I tell you a secret, do you promise to keep it? I promise. You're a mermaid? Shh. Sorry, but, uh, can I see that potion? Adrina, this is... You think my own mom would try and poison me? I've seen this potion before, and it's toxic. Your hair is getting more colorful. I need that potion. This is for your own good. Logan, what have you done? I'm sorry, Adrina. I couldn't let you have that. You'll thank me later. Mom, Dad, bad news. The potion is gone, and my hair is looking like this. Oh, no. She ruined our plans. Wait, what? She is transforming. Now she can't escape. I don't understand. What's going on? We only adopted you because we want something. What do you want from me? We want to suck your blood. Mermaid's blood makes vampires very powerful. She won't last much longer on land. I'm thirsty. How about some holy water? Here, this will turn you human. It worked, but how did you know? I'm not actually a vampire. You're a merman? Yeah, the last one, but I don't think mermaids are going to stay extinct anymore. <laughs>